We consider our online course to be a book. Uh, acknowledgements. It's very important for acknowledgements to be in the beginning of the book. To give credit where credit is due has always been very important to me. I think that's something that is very often lacking in tennis teaching circles, not to give credit where credit is due. A side note, when one gives credit where credit is due, it creates reflective thought. It makes you stop and think about when, where, and how you learn something. With acknowledgments, you learn from everybody. You learn from your experiences. You learn from yourself. You learn from your students. I think with going to the conference and listening to the, the name keynote speaker is important. But you can learn from someone who no one knows. Um, again, just reading and listening. There's so many ways to learn. When you think of great names in tennis, we have the players. You know, we've got Laver, and then we've got Rosewell. We've got Sampras, and then we've got Agassi. We've got Federer, and then we have Nadal. On the women's side, you've got Margaret Court, and Billie Jean King, Chrissy Everett, Martina Naratilova. It's an honor and privilege to watch, watch those players play. It's also an honor and privilege to be influenced by great teachers. Let me just list in alphabetical order um, eight great tennis teachers that have really touched what I do and what I do every day. Vic Braden, Peter Burwash, Harry Hopman, Bill Jacobson, Dr. James Lair, Dennis Vandermeer, Welby Van Horn, and Jim Verdick. And you'll hear their names, as you, and you'll hear many other names throughout our course, both with the online course that we started with and futuristically.